Sometimes at work, people don't want to do things. And as the bosses, if you can't get them to do it, you just gotta do it yourself. I don't want to be where I am, which is up on top of a freezer. But here I am getting wrapping paper that shouldn't be up here to begin with. It's, it's a good day to be here when you're sick. So we're here in my office. Uh, here all the organizations have to do something for Christmas. So Santa's going to play bingo at the TV station. So you know what that means. I got to get in my Santa suit. So that was the TV station. Um, you didn't see inside because my wife had my phone in her pocket. But hey. It's a building. It's an open room. Camera. So Santa did his uh, did his thing. We were a little... We got down to like the last like seven or eight numbers before we had a winner. And people were taking those cards like mad. So the fact that um, it went that long, yeah. it either tells me that people were extremely unlucky or not a lot of people do have cable. Yeah. Which is, I thought so I'm going to do more. And it's all going to be red cards again because that's the only color I have. They didn't send me any new cards this year. So yeah. I'll so, have to some for next year. so the Christmas celebration, we will continue to do bingo for, for the people here in town where once they fill their card or get whatever lines or an X or whatever she decides to do, they they win a gift card. So yeah, we're on our way back to work now. Um, half an hour, actually like 40 minutes. I have to decide if I'm going to just work in my Santa suit or... Or if I'm not, um, find out if uh, if our cargo was cancelled. I'm going with our cargo was cancelled because uh, the ceiling is not all that high and it is still snowing. Um, which means, seeing as there's only two more shipments before Christmas, uh, there's probably going to be thousands of pounds of mail. But hey, it is what it is, right? Alright, see you soon. So this beautiful scenery is right outside the health center. The health center is right here. Our health center is basically a nursing station. Uh, they do COVID tests in there. Uh, a doctor does come every so often. He is on rotation. Uh, there is nurses that are, and yeah, I'm wearing my Santa suit still. There are nurses that are on staff that are here all the time. But uh, doctors come and go. Uh, dentists come and go, eye doctors come and go, uh, they do cycle through so that they can do things. My kids all had their eye exams here a few weeks back, uh, but my wife's in there getting her meds right now. The meds are shipped up, and then you pick them up. Uh, tiny little building comparative to the hospital in Pavernatuk, but Deer Lake does have a health center. Uh, the school... Uh, is here. It only goes to grade nine. After grade nine, you have two choices. You either go to Thunder Bay or Winnipeg and board and go to school in one of those two places. You do homeschooling. Well, I guess you have three choices then. Or you do the KIHS, which is the, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it right now because I don't want to mangle it, but it's the Tribes Internet High School. Um, K weeks. Zintik? I, I, I gotta look it up and try and... I gotta get Richard or somebody to actually tell me how to say it properly. Um, but yeah, so we have our school. We have uh, police. The police are NAPS officers. They're, uh, they're Aboriginal police. Uh, Native American Police Services, I do believe, is what NAPS stands for. Or police... Yeah, police services. Um... But I love the views, right? Um, I think the one thing you missed, at least I missed in the high Arctic, was trees. Uh, I don't mind being in the middle of nowhere. I just, I like seeing trees. I don't like this no trees thing that happens up there. Uh, the tundra is beautiful, and it really is. And it's awe-inspiring awe and breathtaking and everything else. But you... Once you've seen the tundra, you've you've seen the tundra, right? There is some cool aspects out there, but 
after spending three years in Pavernatuk and being out on the lands several times, I've, I've seen the tundra that Pavernatuk had to offer. Um, trees, I miss them. They're here though. So I'm going to go get dressed because you've got to go out and deal with some snow and uh, ice issues. I do have a lot of people that have said many a time that they like these little vlogs and, you know, looks into the life in the Arctic. At the same time, I'm not 100% sure if I should keep going because it seems like lately my vlogs have basically been, hey, look, I'm at work. Hey, look, I'm snow blowing. Hey, look, I'm at work. Hey, look, I'm snow blowing. And for the most part, that is a lot of your life in the Arctic as a uh, southern employee. Uh, hi, Harlow. But we are going to continue doing this. We got our axe for some of the ice. I'm talking to myself. And uh, yeah, Harlow's going to come out and play while we're snow blowing and stuff. So we just got to get dressed. See? Same stuff. Every, week, every vlog now. Hey, look. It's me frozen yeah um did just chase milo out of the yard uh bruno was out here with my fucking pockets are full of snow now um the wind is so strong that it's blowing a lot of the snow back at me that's why my face is worse than usual uh anyway what i was saying is um so milo came in the yard milo again one of the neighbor's dogs i actually don't mind milo milo just outlived her uh her welcome as uh I was giving attention to Bruno and she got mad and attacked him. So she got chased out, as did her puppies. You guys don't live here. I'm okay with you visiting. I'm okay with you hanging out. The second you attack my kids or my dogs, it's 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 over. So the time in this yard is over. Anyway, we got to go finish that gate. And then, holy shit. I feel like fucking... Ron Perlman in the quest for fire right now. Anyway, yeah, so let's go do this. You know, I've cooked with potatoes my whole life. This is the first time I've ever made mashed potatoes. You might want to take my Irish card away. <laughs> 